pandemic doesn't mean we've dusted off our hands and we're ignoring this. It means we have to figure out what's that that um, that uh, sustainable way to manage it. Um, but of course, the uh, the expectations did not um, match reality. And, and very shortly after we started that that endemic path, we could see already from that comparison with actuals and the modeling data within a couple of weeks that we weren't seeing the decoupling we expected and really had to shift and walk back about, okay, we, we're not ready yet. We need to take more time. And as everyone knows, we've needed to put additional measures in place. Clearly we're in a significant challenge right now with respect to our acute care system. And uh, the comments earlier about the, um, the burdens that clinicians are carrying in acute care and primary care is significant. And I, uh, I feel very responsible for the narrative that has um, made it more complicated to try to put additional public health measures in place because um, whether or not it was my intention, what was heard at the end of July was COVID's over, we can walk away and ignore it. Uh, and that has had repercussions. And, and I, I deeply regret um, how that has played out. 